Hi and welcome to Clamwood Gaming PCs. In this short video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to initially set up your gaming PC, um, make sure all the leads are in the correct place, uh, initial startup and how to install games. Starting off, we have our PC. If we have a look on the back of the PC, we have the motherboard I.O which is this rectangle silver piece, can be black. And we have the power supply. This is where our power lead goes. And we have our graphics card. Uh, all my gaming PCs come with a dedicated graphics card, so that is where you must connect the monitor to. All the PCs should come with a power lead. Looks like a normal kettle lead. This goes into our power supply making sure initially that the power supply button, if it has one, is to the O position, which is off. The one position is on. We'll get to that in a second. Depending how we're connecting the PC, this is an HDMI lead. You can also use DisplayPort or DVI. Look at the connections on the graphics card and plug the HDMI lead in. Now, depending on whether you're using Wi-Fi or cabled internet, you can have an ethernet cable or you can have a Wi-Fi adapter. I'll go through how to use both. For this, I'm going to use an ethernet cable. Now we have our keyboard and mouse. These are USB. On the back of the motherboard tray, there'll be lots of USB connections. We just plug them in. Now everything's plugged in. We turn the power supply on. On top of the PC, or on the front of the PC, you'll see probably two buttons, a larger button and a smaller one. The larger button is the power supply. Press that and the PC will start. good indication that your PC has started properly is your mouse and keyboard, if they're LED, will light up, like so. We can see the motherboard splash screen, and then we'll see Windows starting up. When I ship these PCs, I ship them with an admin account with no password. So just press sign in, and you'll get to the Windows desktop. On to the next bit. On this part of the video, we're going to show you how to set up your internet. If we have a look at the desktop, we can see the internet icon in the bottom right hand corner. With no cable and no adapter plugged in, you'll get no connection or networks. If we plug the network cable in, we can see that the network icon changes and that will happen automatically, meaning you're connected. Now, if we take the cable out, and we plug the Wi-Fi adapter in, as we can just hear there. It will take a few seconds for the adapter to initialize, and you click on the network icon again, and you can see your Wi-Fi networks. Select the Wi-Fi network from the list, that is your home router. Add the password that is on the back of the home router, and you're connected to the internet. Now we're going to cover installing games. Firstly we're going to download the game installer. In this case initially we're going to download Epic Games Launcher. So open up your web browser, type in Epic Game Launcher, go to the website and click download the Epic Game Launcher. You'll see the download start in the bottom left hand screen. Once it's downloaded, go to sign in, put in your email and password if you already have one, or if not, create an account and then sign in. Once you sign in, you'll see some pop-ups come on the screen. These are for free games and stuff like that. If we have a look around the store, um, Epic Games is really good. They tend to give away a lot of free games, so keep an eye on it. And all you do is 
click on the free game and you can add it to your library. You can see the library tab on the left hand side of the Epic Game Launcher. Click on that now. These are the games in my library at the moment. On this PC, none, nothing is actually installed. These games are stored on my online account. So to install Fortnite, click on install. We can see the location. We want to press browse. Now we don't want to install it on the SSD as it's quite small. What we want to install it is on the D drive. Select the D drive, select folder. As you can see now, it's created a folder called Fortnite. Click install. And that will now install on your D drive. It always comes up with a message here, so close that. If you click on downloads, you'll be able to see all of the speeds that it's downloading at. Now we're going to download Steam. Open up the web browser and search for Steam. Go to the Steam website and click on Install Steam. As you can see, click on Open File. Select English and select Finish and that will now automatically install and update. Once it's installed you need to either make an account or if you've already made an account sign in. If you have Steam Guard installed check the Steam Guard app on your phone and put the code in that it gives you then you'll be signed into Steam. Now Steam the same as Epic defaults to the C drive as you can see all the games here if you go to settings you won't be able to see settings in the first thing you have to enter your family view if you have it set up that way you can go to the steam on the top and select settings now from there go to downloads Select your libraries. Now you can see there's a default library in the C drive. We need to add a library to the D drive. So we click on the drop down menu and select the D drive or your hard drive. Select new folder and it defaults to Steam library. Press select. Right click on the new Steam library and make it the default. The reason we do this is so we don't fill up the small C drive with games. Now if we click on any game now, click on install, we can see that it automatically installs to the D drive. And there we go. We are now all set up and ready to play. Thanks for watching my video tutorial. And if you have any problems, you can email me at clamourboardgaming at gmail.com.